As the entire YouTube universe has heard about by now, the largest YouTuber, PewDiePie, has decided to remove the comments on all of his videos. Now, he says the reason he did so was because of the frustration that he dealt with when dealing with it, because that was his way to, in his best way, to connect with his audience. His primary complaint was that the comment section were filled with people doing self-promotion. It was filled with spam and people just trying to provoke. Welcome to YouTube, PewDiePie. He says he chose to do so because of the quality of the comments that he was getting. He felt that YouTube was not doing enough to help him deal with that. So he decided to just shut them off permanently. Now we do know that YouTube comments are the absolute worst with maybe Russia Today's English section comments being worse. But YouTube comments are sexist, racist, homophobic, and downright general idiocy. The, all the things that make YouTube comments what they are that we're all used to. You see, the problem is, PewDiePie, no matter how much money you get from YouTube, bad comments are going to have bad comments. And getting mad because YouTube won't bow to you, regardless of how much money you get from them, it's going to remain like this. The problem lies with the commenters themselves. Sorry, Pewds, YouTube doesn't revolve around you. We all have to deal with these kinds of comments. Just look at the comments on any video that I have. And you Pewds have far more ability to deal with that difficulty than the rest of us, what with the literally hundreds of thousands of dollars that you make per month. I find it very ironic that PewDiePie would make this kind of complaint about his comments. After all, the content of his videos is basically him acting like an overexcited, low IQ 12 year old. That's basically the premise of all of his videos. So when you have content like that, can you really complain that you get very poor quality comments? Exactly what dialogue is supposed to be taking place? You should remember that no matter how much money you have, you can't buy good comments. Unless you're Lee Dorn, because then you can buy them along with views. What I find really disgusting about all this is not the fact that he decided to remove the comments from his videos, but the way people are reacting. Look at everything that has been done to Anita Sarkeesian. All the threats, the misogyny, the outright disgusting, unbelievable harassment that she suffered. When she turned off the comments, because the fact it was hurting people who were watching her videos that were enjoying them and learning something from them, they called her a coward. They said she wasn't open to debate. She was afraid to discuss these ideas because she was a fraud and she was attacked mercilessly for doing so calling her all kinds of things, like coward and fraud. Yet, when PewDiePie takes off his comments, just because he didn't like them, because they were spam, they were shameless self-promotion, and some of them were just, you know, maybe trying to pick a fight, everybody's upset that he had to do this. Oh, it's not fair, it's the commenter's fault, it's the nature of the internet, and acting like he's the victim here. Yes, this is the internet. But apparently when it gets done to a woman, just because she happened to question patriarchy or the, the content of popular culture that perpetuates it, then she's the villain. But when it just is disagreeable to PewDiePie, he's the victim. What's going on here? I find that very questionable. And I think that's one part, that's one thing that's not being discussed about this. But I would like to say finally, keep in mind what PewDiePie does. Essentially nothing of any real value. So there is really no loss by him not having comments. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.